Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lincoln and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be continuing our, uh, on our S7-1200 series PLC, Siemens obviously, uh, where we're going to be checking out today the our card configuration, the program upload download and also going to be uh, diving a little bit into the uh, IP, i.e. Uh, show you how to change IP address if you're not happy. So just in case you guys didn't see the uh, last video and there's more upcoming videos coming up when it comes down to hardware for these uh, systems. So do check out the playlist where this video is from. So yeah, so this is what we're going to do today. All the related manuals and the other videos that I think we believe yeah, will benefit you in any possible way will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we are, so right as you can see I have our control, uh, controller down there at the bottom and uh, I've got two TI portals in here. Sometimes if your version is below 2.2 you will need older versions of TI portals. So uh, the previous controller I was working on uh, from one of the customers, uh, he needed a, it was a 2.1 and uh, I needed to get the program out and the V16 wasn't able to do it. So. Uh, so that's at all I point you out. So sometimes you will need the older versions depending on your firmware version of your controller. We will do a controller up, a firmware version update in upcoming videos to 2.2. So we'll check out how that's done if you wish to uh, perform that. But you don't necessarily need to do that because you can still download the, the previous versions and they are free. If you purchase the uh, TI V16, all the previous ones will be for free. Uh, of charge. You can download them from Siemens website as a trial version for 21 days. But if Siemens sees that uh, you have already a valid license for the later versions, full valid license, it will uh, activate uh, them uh, other ones as uh, as a full as well. So here we go. So you know, if you want to create a new project, just go and uh, create a new project. We're not going to do that. So we're just going to go for a test. That's something I've been messing around. And we're going to load that project and it's going to open us uh, like a, a portal view or something like that. It's called Pro something portal view or something like that. And uh, yeah, the program is quite beefy, so uh, it will take a toll on your uh, laptop, so do make sure you have a decent laptop for it. Uh, so it, this way you can figure, right PLC and blah, blah. We're not going to do, do this for now, because we're going to be using some of these in the future. So we're going to go straight to the project view. Right here on the bottom, or you can do it uh, right here with this guy as well. Whatever reason I'm used to, just click on that one. So once it loads up, the first thing what we're going to do, we are going to identify what we can find on our network. So accessible devices right here. Come on. Taking his time as typical. Let's search for them. See what we can find. It should find a uh, controller and uh, HMI. HMI is again is going to come up in videos how to get all this up and running. Uh, come on. So there we go. So we found both devices, and this here shows you our both device uh, IP addresses. So let's click them on show, and they will appear here in online access. And there, so uh, the only do uh, if you want to check out what the uh, firmware version you use is, is uh, um, the controller is, and uh, uh, what program is being programmed before. Uh, you'll be able to find out in here once it loads in. So you can see that's my article number and blah, blah, blah. So if you guys, by any chance, let's copy this guy, want to see uh, what's the maximum of firmware version you can do for your controller, just go straight into Google. And uh, type in either Siemens Mall. Basically, it's a Siemens, I don't know, uh, mall where you can buy stuff. And uh, type it in your search and uh, search exactly your product. All the products can be checked in here. So you can see my product popped up straight away. Let's click on it. As you can see down there in the downloads where there's a service support manuals, click on downloads. And in here, it's going to show you all that's available for this specific controller. We're going to narrow down to downloads itself because you can definitely check out applic uh, example, uh, application examples. Really good. We're going to be checking them out in the future videos. They, they seem as done some really cool stuff for you. So you can download and check it out. So in here, it gives you, gives you, gives you uh, here's a description of how you upload, uh, how you uh, uh, update your firmware. All the instructions are in there and what the maximum firmware you can do, which is in our case is 2.2 for this specific controller. So there we go, that's uh, that. So uh, what we're going to do in here, we're going to uh, uh, add a device. 
And from there on, there's a couple of ways you can do it. So what we can do, we're going to try out uh, the lazy version. But for whatever reason, every now and then, it does not identify her. So it says unspecified CPU will try to detect it for you. So we're going to try that. And now, now we already know that our controller is 2.2. We might as well select that now. And it's basically going to come up with a ghost controller. And we'll give them a chance to identify what's there. What controller is there and then detect it for us. Come on. Taking his time. Again. Jeez. Here we are. So, uh... Let's click detect. So he's gonna uh, let's find uh, the address. What we're gonna detect it should show up only one because we are talking about CPUs in here. So that's it. So he's, he found that. So and and let's tell him to detect it for us. Looking, looking, looking. And if it all goes well, they should show up on here. That will be the easy and best way to do it. Here we go. So you found the controller and I found sometimes, sometimes, guys, it does not uh, uh, work. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh, then you have to just, it's quite simple, just do it manually. Find out your CPU in here. So, and then just drag it across the CPU and I, uh, analog card. So you can see I've got one analog card in here and I've got a uh, CPU in here. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's how we identify what uh, CPU is online. Uh, from there on, if you need to do this manually, what you need to do is to make sure when you click on this guy, because uh, by default, if you drag this uh, unit across and put it in there, his IP address is going to be one point whatever that is. To make sure you edit this IP address in here, uh, the same is when you uh, identify your devices uh, right down here. So make sure you enter this IP address so it does match. So what we're going to do now is click on the controller and let's go online. So, uh, and uh, what we're going to do, we uh, already downloaded, uh, uploaded the program, but uh, what we're going to do is you can see that upload uh, has uh, come up. So let's click on that one. We uh, scooped uh, everything there is out of uh, the controller. And that's how pretty much you upload information from your controller. So there we go. That is done here we go and so that's pretty much what's ooh, jumping around in here so that's pretty much what is inside of the controller and uh, let's go and look at the ob1 in here and this is pretty much where you uh, would start doing your uh, uh, programming if you wish and that's how we uh, pretty much get a uh, uh, program out of a siemens s1200 plc and from there on, once you finish your uh, controlling, but if you by any chance want to change your IP address, the one down there, which let's get on the device configuration. Once you did probably say, you know what, I want to change the IP address, just click on here. And what we're going to do in here, and do make sure when you do change your IP address, uh, make sure that you upload the program first. Otherwise, if you don't, you will end up loading a program in with nothing being on an uh, OB1 and then you are pretty much uh, gonna er erase your program. You will obviously be prompted uh, the error saying, are you sure you want to over um, like override it? So yeah, do make sure I upload first and then download the new setup in a second. So to do that, just click on this internet port in there or you can actually click on a controller as well. It doesn't really matter. It's still both of them all there, but it's a quick way to get there. So in here, change, change that. Let's change that one to two. And uh, from there on, uh, click it back on the controller and pump it into actual controller. So from there on, so you can see this is the setup, the name, device name, and blah blah. Everything in here, we the IP address. This is what we're going to be sending into the PLC. Let's find the actual PLC. There we go, I found the PLC, so let's click load. So now it's going to load everything, as same as, as all the program, everything you've done, uh, everything's going to be, all the changes, hardware, everything, oh, it's going to be loaded in, into the PLC now. So do make sure uh, you understand that part, that you're not just updating the IP, you're updating, uh, but if you have made any changes, everything else is going to go with it. So there we go, so let's finish it all up and check what IP address is now, it was uh, 10, so if you go for accessible nodes, 
and search. And as you can see, the PLC now has got IP address of 2.2. And at that, we are going to conclude this video. We did check out the upload. We did check out the hardware configuration. Hopefully, it's helping you out. We have checked out how to update uh, your IP address if you don't like it. Do uh, this this guy near the two two in here. Make sure that uh, your laptop and it's dependent again with network using. Uh, try to keep everything part of the local network, especially if you're going to want to use HMI and uh, our PLC work together so make sure the subnets uh, these numbers are in correct uh, occur same uh, together as the other ones so and yeah that'll do ladies and gentlemen for this video hopefully this helping you out and giving you a good understanding of how to get yourself started in the next video we're going to start checking out the hardware and material because uh, uh, again I am uh, not much of a programmer I am more of a service guy so I like to check out all the other areas and then it comes down to technology with these controllers so yeah do check out in the upcoming videos so don't forget to like the video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe if you like what we're doing here and on that thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in our next video